So case one of code that didn't get covered is infeasible code. The second case, the second case is code that we believe to be feasible, but which isn't worth covering. And code might not be worth covering if it's very hard to trigger and it's very simple. And so let me give a quick example. The res variable gets the result of a command to format a disk. And if that operation fails, we're just gonna abort the program. And so what might be the case is that we lack an appropriate fault injection tool that will let us easily simulate the failure of a format disk call. And then furthermore, the response of the code in this case is to simply abort the execution of the program. If those two things are the case, then we might be perfectly happy not to test this code branch. And the reason is the abort code, which is gonna terminate the entire application, is presumably something that we've tested elsewhere. So we don't have any real suspicion that it might fail. And there's no reason to think that calling it from a location like this would act any differently, we're probably okay.